Hunter's poem, The Tiger, and my own poem, Inspired by His. A little backstory on William Blake. He was an English poet in the Romantic period, and The Tiger was published in 19, or sorry, 1794 as part of the book Songs of Experience, which was Blake's own response to his earlier poem, The Lamb, from Songs of Innocence. The poems and their collections explore the duality between innocence and experience, and gentility and violence. The Tiger is a six stanza poem, uh, with each, four stan each uh, stanza being four lines long. The first stanza opens with the central question, who created the tiger? Uh, but since the tiger cannot answer, the question continues in the second stanza with the tiger uh, being questioned where it was created, who created it, and in the fourth stanza, how it was created, and what tools were used. In the fifth stanza, Blake wonders how the creator reacted to his creation, the tiger. And finally, in the sixth stanza, he reinstates the previous question, uh, as stated at the beginning. You should know that certain vowel sounds have changed in English over hundreds of years. Certain rhymes don't work that used to work uh, in the 1700s. For instance, I was once pronounced he in certain dialects. And so in the spirit of retaining the rhyme scheme of the original, I will pronounce it incorrectly, but the correct way as it was. So especially with Blake, he tended to like to push that even further. Okay. The Tiger by William Blake. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What a mortal hand or e could frame thy fearful symmetry. In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? On what wings dare he aspire? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what shoulder, and what art, could frame, twist the sinews of thy heart? And when thy heart began to beat, what dread hand, and what dread feet? What the hammer, what the chain, in what furnace was thy brain? What the anvil, what dread grasp, dare its deadly terrors grasp? What the stars threw down their spears, and watered heaven with their tears? Did he smile his work to see? Did he who made the lamb make thee? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or e dare frame thy fearful symmetry? The tiger was a poem that I enjoyed in my early years at university. And my own question, what happens when you take a classic poem and reimagine it through a tabloid news story, was an exercise given to me by a professor in second year. An article on Weekly World News caught my eye for its horrific and gruesome details. A young couple expecting a quiet, romantic, late night lagoon boat ride, experienced the terror of their lives when they fell overboard and were attacked by hundreds of voracious, vicious, violent goldfish. The man said, I glimpsed their soulless little eyes, felt their puckering lips, sucking on my skin. It was horrible. Apparently, it was even worse for his wife. I felt their slimy bodies squirming all around me, and one goldfish swam into my mouth. I'll always feel it wriggling down my throat like, well, like a goldfish. <laughs> Needless to say, such a terrible and clearly very true story needed immortalization. I based my first poem off a combination of Blake and the fake news story, combined with my own research into the origin of goldfish 
with specific related terminology. And so I present to you the mashup that hopefully does not make Blake turn in his grave too hard. The goldfish. Goldfish, goldfish, fearful sight in the lagoon at midnight. What immortal song or ming contained ye with aqua wing? In what distant deeps or lakes were thou deprived of thy flakes? What gave thee such strange desire, fighting boaters, purpose dire? And what mind so vast and sharp formulate thou minor carp? Who gave thee breathless life, enraged thee to death cold strife? What the Jenkin, what the when, was exchanged for some yen? What demented fingertips caused the flapping of thy lips? Why thou move in troubling, never thirst? ever drinking, when attacketh like a dole, thou should be kept in a bowl. Goldfish, goldfish, fearful sight, in the lagoon at midnight, what immortal song or ming contained ye with aqua wing? Thank you.